out Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee and today we are back with day 30 of 30 days of sketches with Christy's beautiful wife and we are also celebrating um Holly's 500 subscriber um milestone yay Holly you finally did it um it is a big deal whenever you reach that 500 subscriber mark so um congratulations holly i love your stuff um i will link her channel below i think it's ivy cole creations and she does some fantastic stuff and makes it look so simple um so today we are celebrating her because she actually created the sketch for um day 30 so i'll pop that sketch up on the screen so you can see what we're working with and today my layout is going to probably be the most simple layout y'all have ever seen. Um, I am not using any pattern paper at all. I know, shocker, shocker, shocker. Um, I am keeping my canvas very plain and neutral because my embellishments I'm going to use are very, very colorful. So, I have these pictures of um, my oldest grandbaby, Kaylee. She was coloring a picture for me um, from a worksheet from school. And she said she made it just for me. So, I had to take pictures of her coloring. But also, um, of course, I kept it. So, I cut out a title on my Cricut. And then I have this from a swap. It says, do it your way. And I have this from a swap created by Kimberly Litton. And um, all of my embellishments are the actual sheet that she was coloring. So, um, I just fussy cut all the little things. have all these little flowers um, that I cut out that she colored on the page. And then I have all these little bug masterpieces <laughs> and um it's too cute you know she is in kindergarten and i think this is a great memory um to capture because you know you just you can't keep this is just the corners of the paper i cut it out to use as photo corners you can't keep all the art as, as cute as it is and as much as you would like to it's just not feasible <laughs> So, for me, this was a great way to use up um, what she created, but include it as a way of keeping it. So, I cut out a title on my Cricut. It says Budding Artist. And, um, first of all, I'm going to just glue this down. I just took two pa uh, pieces of white cardstock. Another two pieces and two pieces of black. And I just cut out this mat to put down like this. Um, so, I'm just going to glue that down. Um, of course, I'm veering a little off of topic with the sketch. But, you know, the sketch is just for inspiration. And um, I'm still kind of keeping with it. <laughs> I don't take a lot. Y'all know I print in 4 by 6 um, I tend to take pictures closer in versus further out so that I'm able to crop them. So, using 6 2x2 two two photos and a 4x4 four four just wasn't in the cards for this. But this is a really versatile sketch and would work really well um, to actually uh, use it again for something else. Also, to get a lot of pictures on the page. So, okay. So, pretty much there is my mats down. And, like I said, very, very plain. But, we're going to add all this color and it's going to punch it up a lot. Now, I took and... Sorry, my allergies are killing me. I took some of my scrap papers and out of my bins and just matted them up to give a mat. 
they're not perfect. You can see on some of them where they did get lined up, but that's okay because this is a very um, artistic page, kindergarten-y. Um, if you think it looks kindergarten-y, then great. I did exactly what I wanted to accomplish. So, I'm going to glue these pictures down. And I'm not going to glue all the edges and stuff because I might decide I'm going to tuck. I don't exactly know 100% yet. So... It's a great way to use up the scraps to just back your pictures. And if you line them up perfect enough, no one will even ever know that it wasn't a whole piece of paper. Okay, so there's that. And then we're just going to start adding our embellishments in. So let's put the corners on first. Look how cute it already adds to it. Okay, I think we'll do this one over here since we're going to have the title in this corner, like the sketch. And this is just really thin, you know, printer paper that they just um, printed off the coloring sheet on for school. So, but, you know, I could have totally backed this on to some heavier cardstock and then fussy cut it before I fussy cut it, but I didn't because it's okay. Just to use it like this, I'm fine with it. little bit more glue on the corner and I might have to go back and do a little more gluing um, but we'll wait it out all right so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put that on that side and then I'm gonna put my title over here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put my title on and then I'll work on filling in all the embellishments so I made this it says budding artist My grandkids are very creative. With what they come up with. Which is great. Because they're using their imaginations. Alright. So. Let's add this. And I just cut these out in different colors. To look like the rainbow since you know she kind of had all the colors going on her pants were even rainbowed so it works out going to add in all of our other stuff. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put this here because I just wanted to include the pencils even though she did use my highlighter markers to do it. 
I wanted to just add this in. Kimberly put a lot of time into this piece because it has a lot of different layers and colors to it. Love it. All right, so then let's see, let's add the bugs in and then we'll tuck flowers after that. Um, ah, they're stuck together. I kind of wanted to put them in so that it was kind of mimicking the spots of all the other photos, but they can't be, you know, 100% um, like the photos. Let's see. Maybe this one behind here. Okay, we're going to rip it up. <laughs> Maybe put it there like that. Do this one flying over here. This one, this little feet. Look, how cute. But I'm thinking I might put this one here. I might put it behind there. But I might cut it partially off and still use it. But we will see. Okay. I kind of like it, but I don't want to cover up her face. Okay, let's just do it. I'm going to kind of glue along the edges more because of it being the thin printer paper, it will raise up. So. Holding it down a little bit. I apologize if y'all hear my husband keep coughing. He's the allergies are getting to us here. All right. Um, let's glue this one down. more glue back behind this since I ripped it up. Okay. I know I want to use this little bug in its entirety just so it shows its cute little feet. Apparently the allergies got to the bugs too, so they have pink eyes. <laughs> All right. There's that. Um, I'm thinking I might. Okay. I'm going to pull this up. And then I think I'm going to glue this on partially. Definitely not color choices I would have made if I was coloring it, but okay, let me trim this off. All right, so 
so we're just using part of it just to give it a little something these little feet are too cute y'all I just I don't know maybe I'll work them in some other way all right I'm gonna put this back down over this and then I think I'm going to add this over here. Okay, I didn't do this one down yet. I think I'm going to put some foam tape on this one. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, versus all the other ones. You can totally doodle these up a little more by like adding some um, like bling to the little antennas on them, um, things like that. Let's see here. Okay, let's add just a little bit of blue, and it's okay if it's not flat and it makes it stick up. All right, I like that. And then we have all of our little flowers to add in. So let's do that. Some of them I might pop up on foam. Let's see here. I'll do that orange one. It's cut a little bit, so. It's all right. We'll just tuck it up underneath there and, and call it good. Okay. And now let's add a little bit of foam tape to this one. Give it a little bit of dimension. You can put bling in the center of the flowers just to give it a little more. I have a lot of red flowers, so I'm just going to try to kind of spread them out a little bit. Let's put this one on foam. Alright, and then maybe do a few up here. Let's see, let's do a small one. Tuck it under. And then we can put this one on foam. Add a little bit of pop and dimension to this side of the page. over here I need another flower over here maybe up here I'll do it on foam uh oh I'm out I'm gonna have to grab my case and get some out of it If I can tear it off very easily. Yay! All but the last little piece. Alright. That works out good. Alright. Let's see. Let's do the blue one on foam. that put this 
this one here. Let's see. Let's just glue this one down. And is everything glued down? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I got everything glued down. All right. And I think I'm just going to put this over here. Because I like that it said, do it your way. Because, you know, she's definitely doing it her own way. And this was by Colleen. So, she sent a bunch of other little things with this. I think a bunch of other little uh, crafty sentiments. Okay. I like that. I may um, go and add in some bling to stuff. Um, I will, of course, post close-ups at the end so you can see what all I did. But I absolutely love how this turned out. We used no pattern paper. Um, we just used black and white as a base and then added in all the art um, that Kaylee made. So, great way to showcase that artwork um, from those grandbabies that you don't want to throw away but you don't have room to keep either. Um, this one was great. Just fussy cut the items out and was good. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and go over and check out Holly um, and help celebrate her 500 uh, subscriber mark. And until next time, bye y'all.